Hey guys and welcome to a Robocraft update video. Yay, another update. They're getting good buddies, aren't they? Anyway guys, enjoy the gameplay in the background while I read through what is coming on the 4th of April 2016. So, here we go. Some major changes are coming this Monday to Robocraft, including the much anticipated permanent CPU cap increase. We're well aware of the unfortunate timing of these patch notes, so to avoid confusion we wanted to emphasise that nothing in these patch notes are an April Fool's joke. GG Free Jam. Maximum level CPU increase. Maximum player level is being increased to 150. Each player level gained after level 100 will increase your max CPU by 5. Maximum CPU at player level 150 is 1750. As a part of this change, Megabots are being removed from Robocraft. For a full explanation on the reasons why, please click in the link in the description guys, I will put it down there for you. Players who own the Mega Module will be compensated as follows. They will keep the Mega Module as it transforms into the new Power Booster with new functionality. Wicked! Power Boost! Sell back value for all players will be 100% for one week so that any undesired weapons or movement components for Megabots can be sold back without any loss of RP. They will receive 2500 GC to purchase premium cosmetics or new components in addition to the other two benefits. Although the above isn't going to nullify the removal of Megabots, we hope the future benefits of an improved Robocraft that doesn't have to work around the Megabots concept will help you understand why the decision was made. So guys, if you have the Mega Module, it will be transformed into a Power Booster. Um, we're getting a week's sell back for 100%, so if there's anything in your inventories that you don't want, you can get rid of it and get all your RP back. If you do have a Mega Module, you will receive 2500 GC to pretty much do what you want with. Um, and they're saying that it's not going to nullify the removal of Mega Bots. So we're hoping that. Oh, well, I'm kind of hoping that they come back in the future. That'd be really nice. So, um, yeah, we'll just have to stay on that. Because although I didn't play Mega Bots, they, they were a fun addition to the game. Power Booster. The Power Booster is a new module which permanently increases your robot's power bar regeneration speed. It uses the same module as the now removed Mega Module. The Power Booster reduces the time to regenerate a full power from 10 seconds to 8 seconds. Multiple Power Boosters don't stack to increase it further. The Power Booster costs 290 CPU. So, if you want to have an extra, you know, your, your power to come back two seconds faster, you will have to spend 300 CPU, guys. So bear that in mind. Balance. Many balance changes have been made along with the shift away from Megabots. The Mega's wheel CPU cost has been reduced to 100. Mega wheel health has been increased by 117%. The Mega Wheel Speed has been increased by 35%. Note, the previous tool tips regarding speed for Mega Wheels were incorrect, so according to tool tips it will look like a nerf, but actual speed has been increased. <laughs> Mega Hover CPU cost has been reduced to 100. Mega, health, Mega Hover Health has been increased by 215%. Mega Hover Speed has been increased by 21%. Please note that previous tooltips regarding speed for Mega Hovers were incorrect, so according to tooltips it will look like a nerf, but actual speed has been increased. Mega Hovers, I like the Mega Hovers, so I'm going to be using a couple of them. Mega Mech Leg CPU cost has been reduced to 205. The Mega Mech Leg Health has been increased by 25%. The Mega Mech Leg Shield has been reduced by 25%. The Mega Shield A and B CPU cost has been reduced to 130. So we've had all of the Mega parts guys have been reduced with CPU, health and speed have been increased on both movement types and the Mech legs have had a shield decrease 
but has had a slight health buff. Non-mega balance changes. The Lommel robot ranking has been increased to 20,000. The Seeker robot ranking increased to 17,500. Rail accuracy while moving has been increased. Now they're good changes because I don't like missile launchers. Nah, they're all right. Um, the robot rankings, I don't know why they're changing them because robot ranking is going completely shortly in the next coming weeks. So um, it's up to them. Seeker robot ranking has been increased to 17,500. That's really good because it will stop those silly little uh, proto seeker chairs going down and ruining the lower tiers at the moment or the lower battle classes. Improvements. Nano healing rate in auto target right click mode is now increased to match the healing of manual target left click mode. Improved collisions on the power booster previously mega module to allow prisms to fit around its corners. Removed the center robot and test robot functions from the edit robot interface as it worked against good user experience design. The warning shown for being locked onto by a Lommel has now been improved so it will show up to 5 individual arrows when multiple Lommel users players are locking onto you. Optimise the code handling Lommel's explosion effects to improve FPS most notably on low end PCs. Hopefully they have fixed the warning of Lommel so it actually alerts you that you have been locked onto because I had a few games earlier and again I was not being locked onto but destroyed by missiles. <laughs> it's great fun. Finally some bug fixes guys. They fixed a bug which caused nanos to face a different direction than they actually are from the perspective of other players. Fixed a bug which stopped the warning audio and arrow effects caused by a Lommel locking onto you from appearing. Yay! Fixed a bug which caused two touching shields, DSM or base shield, to cancel each other out, allowing both sides to shoot through them. Something about space time and thermonuclear warping or something. <laughs> Fixed a bug which caused your own chat filter to filter profanity you used when sending with whisper commands. Fixed one instance of the incorrect cube placement error coming up at incorrect times, though we're investigating other instances of it happening. So guys, that was the patch notes. As always, I will leave a link to the patch notes so you can go and have a look for yourselves and have a read through, and go and have a look at the forums and all the different discussions and things that people are having. It's brilliant. Come and have a look at the forums. They are really worth the read. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay in the background, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed me waffling. If you've liked this video today, click the like button for us. Helps the channel out immensely. If you've got any comments, suggestions, questions, or messages, if you want to drop them down below, I'll do my guess best to get back to you. Guess to get back to you? Yeah, my best to get back to you. Uh, I always, I do enjoy reading your comments. They, um, they do put a smile on my face. So the more the merrier, guys. And uh, until this update hits and I have some patch notes for you, see you later.